Well, Liz seemed to reckon you were at death's door. She got a big gob, that one, hasn't she? Just her tooth giving me some jip, that's all. Why didn't you just tell me that I wouldn't have worried? I didn't think it was worth mentioning. Besides, you always giving me stick about my low pain threshold. Only once, when you stood on that plug, you would think your leg was coming off the way you carried on. You're all heart, aren't you, love? Mm. So what are you doing here? I'm working. Well, I thought you were supposed to be at the youth centre. OK, honest truth. Well, if it wouldn't kill you, yeah. I did want all of this to be a surprise, but... Be honest, love, I don't think you realise how terrible I've felt since losing all of Jason's money. So when my mate showed me this place, it got me to thinking. Long story short, he's decided to sell it to me at a bargain price. So I do it up, sell it, make a neat profit. I get to pay back every single penny I owe. That's great. So that's why you've been so shifty. Yeah, I, I just wanted all of that to be a surprise for you. I've got to text Nicola, because I've had her worried and all. OK, well, listen, I've got a couple of things to finish up here. Why don't you head back, get me a pint in the Rovers, and I'll see you in there. I am so lucky to have you. So's your daughter. You are a good man, Pat Phelan. Oh! <laughs> That down, lad. When I heard her, Eileen, I, I thought she knew I was down here. And then I saw your face and you, you were terrified. Put it down. Good boy. So come on. Why didn't you shout out? I thought you'd be pleased. <laughs> Don't tell me you've fallen in love with me. You haven't got a bit of that Stockholm syndrome, have you? Of course not. <laughs> Come on, out with it. Why didn't you shout, scream bloody murder? You could have left me to die the other day. But you didn't. You saved my life. I, I don't know why, but, but... But maybe it's because you're not the... the big bad bloke that everyone thinks you are. Maybe... you are Patrick Phelan. Father, husband, I, I trust you to do the right thing. Oh, yeah? What might that be? Well, one day, I know that you'll let me go. Dodgy tooth and a surprise house to pay Jason back. Right. So why did he bite me head off? Oh, passionate and safe, Pat. Mad in my life. Sorry, guys. Uh, Sean's gone AWOL, so the drink's going to be delayed for a bit. I thought I could hear my ears bear now. Liz, I am so sorry. I know we were only looking out for your mate the other day, so I apologise for kicking off on you. Twice. Twice. Just telling the ladies about the house you bought for your mate. Yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah, I think so. Eileen's got an even better idea. Oh, yeah? What's that? Like? Well, like you say, it's a nice house, and you're right, but after it's been bought and done up, it's going to be amazing, so why let someone else live in it? Don't follow you. Well, we sell mine here and move into the new one. We can't do that, love. Why not? Size of that house, I could have a walk-in closet, just like Julie. Because it's a building site, and it's going to be like that for some time. Well... As I uh, ruined your surprise, well, how about I help you make it all ship shape? I'll come with you tomorrow, right? So, 